Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I'm always looking for new ways and interesting ways and tweaks and different angles to come at something when I'm shooting a product or trying to make an interesting shot or video or demonstrate something. And I was looking for a turntable, kind of like a Lazy Susan, but I wanted an automated one. A lot of them aren't. A lot of the ones you see to make one aren't automated or they cost a lot of money if you want to buy one. And I came across this. It's a solar rotary display stand. I think it cost me 10 or $15 on Amazon. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. Um, I'm interested to try. This is solar powered. I didn't need it to be solar powered. I would have been happy with batteries, but that's it was the best deal I could find. Um, when I got it, I couldn't believe the price. Now it is small. You don't want to put a big product on here, although you probably could jury rig it so that uh, you could put a bigger product on here by changing, putting another plate on top of the display plate. I'm going to try and hold this carefully because it's a clear plate. So I probably want to clean that off before I actually do a product shot. But this just sits on here. It's a, it's a, it has a square mount on it. You could see that the sides of this are jeweled and whatnot. It might make for an interesting shot. There's, there's times I'd probably want to black that out even. And you can do that in various ways. Um, but this, and I mean, these could practically be, you know, if you had a, a shoot going on that you needed one of these for, these are, you could have a few of them at that price. They're what, um, you know, for 10 or $15 and almost all but disposable. Uh, you could work that certainly into the cost of what you're doing. So um, the, how does it say to turn this on? I'm just looking for an on button. Take it from the box, blah, blah, blah. Turn on the bottom, in the bottom of the base. Okay, so. Let's see here. Oh, it does require a. That's interesting. It's solar powered, but requires a battery. Maybe it'll run with and without. Because it's not turning right now without a battery. Give me one second. Let me grab a battery. Okay, so I just grabbed one of my Eneloop AAs that I use for my speed lights, which is nice too because it doesn't take a AAA, which I can't stand. I'd rather use my AAs, they last longer. I already have them for speed lights. I'm always having to keep them up refreshed for speed lights, replacing them. So it's always nice when it uses something I'm already using for a battery instead of, um, you know, forcing me to use something I don't have. I do actually have some rechargeable AAs, but I only have a couple of them. Triple A's, I should say. Okay, so we got the battery in there. There it goes. You may not be able to see this right away because I think it's revolving fairly, fairly slowly. But let me get this door back on the battery. Battery goes in the bottom there, as you can see. That little door that goes on there. Of course, I dropped. Never mind the door right now. Let's concentrate on not to. There we go. I got it on even while it's spinning. Now, you'll be able to see it spins pretty slow. I don't know if my die cast Batman is too heavy for this. Doesn't appear to be. Can you see that? Let me get the box out of the way here. So there we have Batman. You could see this is the type of thing you could use in a video. Now, don't, never mind me knocking it and shaking it, but um, you could see, I think it's only one speed, but it's a nice little uh, rotary display. And I mean, if you polished it all up, you could even like the fact that it's, that it's you know, has the reflective side and it's got the, you could light this too. I mean, the clear glass, I think, I'll have to show you another shoot separately. I'll come back and set one up for you. But I think it has um, an LED display light on here. But you could you could change that yourself. You could use flashlights, all sorts of LED setup. You could use those strip lights. You could change the colors. You could have this all, you know, you can make this look like Batman with the bat light shining in the sky and then his face lit with a very focused beam. You could do this all pretty cool. But there's Batman, my metals die cast Batman character. And there is the uh, the solar turntable. It's pretty cool for the price. I'm pretty. I, I'm already. My brain's already working here on all the different types of things I want to do for shoots and for some video samples and things like that. And you could just, you know, use that. What you could use that for. So, um, pretty neat little display. And like I said, for the price, um, it's pretty hard to find something like this for this price. I've, I when I was looking at them. I saw them for um, as much as $50, $60, $70. As I said, I think I, 
I can't remember if I paid 10 or 15. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. And I'll be back soon. Show you some stuff I'm going to do with this. This looks like a very interesting um, accessory for shooting. Uh, if you guys have been using one, you want to show some shots or have some feedback, let us know in the comments below as well. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.